Of course it is. Um, we don't know too much about it, and there's no point in us being speculative. But obviously, uh, I'd imagine you, uh, like everyone else, his health is more important than anything. So we wish him well, and I'm sure he's he's in the best possible hands. Doc Waller's there. He was a club doctor here when Gerard fell in 2001. So um, he's, he's got a good guy beside him. I'm sure the people down there will do everything they can to help. So uh, we'll try to be morose about it. We just we don't understand it. We don't know what's going on, but we send them our best wishes. Just it's pressure on everybody in any walk of life, isn't it? And different people deal with pressures in different way. So each each one is individual. Each one will find his own little niche. Uh, to combat it and it's up to the individual there's no definitive way of, of finding release for yourself um, you just go out look for it and, and see what you get and do what you think is best for yourself fantastic uh, success in the Carling Cup which may be affected them just a little bit in the league but um, I, th- I think they'll be I think they'll be safe um, obviously the Gaelic would be looking for a few more points to guarantee that they were safe, but I would have thought that there's going to be an awful lot of points dropped at the bottom or points won, and I think they'll they'll be okay. They'll have enough to get through, and if they won the Carney Cup and survive in the Premiership, they've had a fantastic season. Talk started over a contract for him, doing a long-term contract. You best ask them that. Okay. There's talk about that. Is it signed? You're, no, you're talking about it. I'm not. <laughs> is it a sign that you're staying on? We've said before. Yeah. We've said before, Vinny. If there's something to be said, we'll tell you. There's nothing to be said. No, he still does that. He wouldn't want to take that away from him. But he's always been a good passer. Maybe he's just got a wee bit more confidence and belief in himself uh, and, more in- and encouraged a little bit more to do it. And- with the games that he's got and the performances that he's put in, that will give him confidence. But it won't give him complacency. It just and it should should help him and I think it has helped him and I think that's reflected in the way that he has played. Well, any team in the world will be a better team with Steven Gerrard playing midfield. And we're no different. Uh, but as I've said before, you sympathise for the players when they're injured. You feel for them because there's none of them ever want to be injured. But then when they are injured, somebody else steps up to, to the plate, and it's to the credit that they've all stepped up to the plate. Not just for Stevens' injury, and not just Jay, but all of them, because we've got, we do have a few injuries, and we're going to accept that we do have them, and it's how we react to it, uh, and how we compensate for that, that that's going to be most important for us. And I think they've done fantastically well in adversity. When you consider what happened in uh, Sunday at the match, we start without our captain, we lose our captain. We lose Andy up front, you lose Fabio. You've got 17 and 18 year old right and left back against an English internationalist, a French internationalist, a Russian international player. It didn't phase him. And they got on with it, they just accepted their, their, their lot. This is the team we've got. Uh, and they got out and they, they did the club proud. So that, that's all we can ask that they go and give everything they've got and go on with it. And they've done that.